Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Intermountain Sports Network. This is Larry Cecil along with Justin Holbrook, and we are back at the Appalachian Wireless Arena as it will be the quarterfinal games of the boys' OA Classic. First game tonight will be Belfry and Pikeville, and that the second game following that will be Paintsville and Prestonsburg. So, Justin, uh, Pikeville seven and three on the season coming into the night's game. Belfry's five and seven. So, got that Pike County rivalry going here again. Yeah, everybody uh, flashed back to football there. You know, this is like a big time football right. matchup. Uh, they, they've probably not met very many times in the all A, but now they do play each other each year in uh, basketball. And, you know, Pike full, it's going to be a contrasting styles, Pike full with the si obvious size advantage. And Belfry's going to have to get up and down the court and see if they can wire those boys out. Yes. Uh, Belfry, uh, like we said, come in five and seven on the season, uh, shooting it uh, from the field, 43%, 26 from three-point line, and only 58% from the foul line. Uh, they're led in scoring by Eric Rash, 13.9 points a game. Eric Daniels, 12 points a game. Then you've got uh, Maynard at uh, nine and Carter Jude at eight. As far as rebounding, Leading rebounder is Maynard, uh, eight and a half rebounds a game. So they shooting it, like we said, uh, averaging 58 points a game, four threes a game, and far as free throws, they're averaging only uh, making six free throws a game. Yeah, that's not a that's not a high number. That's not attacking no. the goal very much. Only only uh, attempted 130 free throws for the season. Wow. Yeah. How many games they play? 12 games. 12. Well, uh, Pike, Pikeville has played 10. They've only shot 115 free throws. Well, um, Pikeville, like uh, Larry said, comes into the season seven and three, shooting 47% from the field, 40% from the three point line, and only 66% from the free throw line. Led in scoring by Charlie Fitzer at 14 points a game, Eli Johnson at 11, Ian Onst at nine, Carter Hurley at nine. Heath Gerald at nine and a slew of others around that four, uh, four or five point range. Um, come into the night averaging six three pointers a game, so that's quite a few three pointers. Uh, only shooting 40% though, 66% um, from the free throw line, making about seven and a half a game. Rebounding wise, Charlie Fitzer at 8.6 rebounds a game, Ian Onkst, uh, five, Carter. Hurley, Josh Hughes, Eli Johnson, all around that three mark. So, um, you know, that, it'll be a nice matchup there. You got eight and a half rebounds for uh, Belfry there and eight and a half for Charlie Fitzer. But now uh, Fitzer so, takes up so much space in the middle, it's going to be interesting to see how uh, Belfry tries to stop that offensively. Yeah, that, uh, of course, not just Belfry. Uh, yeah, just about anybody in, in this region that <laughs> yes, plays, you know. Absolutely. absolutely. Uh, they, nobody else got a 6'11 guy. No. Uh, but, uh, you know, you can counteract that by hitting the boards and getting oh, the yeah. ball up and down the floor. Yeah, and I mean, last night, if you uh, if you follow uh, basketball, uh, Purdue gets beat. They got a 7'4 yes. guy. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's all in how you, you know, your coaching style and, what you think you're going to do. You could let him just post up all night long. You can foul him if you want to. Or like you said, my personal philosophy would be to get it out and run and try to beat him yes, down the floor. That's exactly right. And make him guard somebody uh, out on the perimeter. So uh, be interesting to see. Like I said, it's uh, a matchup nightmare for, for anybody, especially here in the 15th region. Tonight's games will be going out on the radio waves on WIFX 94.3 and also as always uh, over the TV WPRG TV 5 and HD 105 also uh, Foothills TV channel 92 if you're down that way got Foothills also we'll be streaming on U uh, WPRG TV YouTube page Facebook page WPRG TV website and also the WPRG TV app and if like always, if you're watching on Facebook, we encourage you to give us a comment on who you're rooting for and 
Where are you rooting from? We appreciate all the comments. I had some good uh, participation uh, during the girls' tournament. Uh, uh, fans uh, letting us know who he's rooting for and uh, some good comments. So we appreciate that again tonight. With that, we're going to take a break, and we return shortly with some more pregame. This is the boys' 15th region all-A tournament. Pikeville and Belfry setting to do battle right here at the Intermountain Sports Network. Not enough power? It's not okay. Weak Wi-Fi? Also not okay. These days, your home's got Wi-Fi connected gadgets and devices here, there, everywhere. And they all use more and more Wi-Fi. Until, luckily, an easy upgrade to Gearheart Broadband Internet and Plume Pole Home Wi-Fi makes it all okay. Contact Gearheart Broadband today for fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi. Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. Everything you love about TV and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Plus, easily find and watch your favorite shows anywhere on any device great for the entire family and easy to use smart home security provides you peace of mind by giving you access to your home cameras and connected devices from anywhere with one easy to use app stop worrying and upgrade to a smart home with gearheart security and rest easy knowing you're always covered with 24 7 professional monitoring Give us a call at 1-800-264-1730 for a free quote and to learn more about our financing options and how to save with our referral program. With GearHeart Security, families matter. Dreaming of watching what you want, when you want, where you want? Stop dreaming and start streaming with GearHeart TV. Watch hundreds of choices on your favorite devices with the power of cloud DVR. Start over and replay TV. Personal profiles with parental controls. Free TV on demand. And TV everywhere to watch on mobile devices from anywhere. GearHeart TV makes your streaming dreams come true at great low rates. Get in touch now to sign up. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Grab up your engines and get ready for the ride of your life. Extreme Power Sports is your destination for all things extreme. Our showroom is packed with the latest and greatest in power sports equipment, including ATVs, dirt bikes, side-by-sides, and more. We carry a huge variety of brands such as Honda, Polaris, Kawasaki, Yamaha, and Slingshot. Come on down to Extreme Power Sports in Pikeville or visit us online at ExtremePowerSportsKY.com. Always take it to the extreme with Extreme Power Sports. Make your day a great day with a visit to New Day Nutrition in the Weddington Plaza. We have acai bowls, loaded cheese, protein coffees, protein shakes, and more. Be sure to try our delicious protein muffins. Ask about our do-it-yourself and on-the-go packs for when you can't stop by. Save 20% on your first order using the New Day app. Available on Apple or Android, we offer online and in-person ordering, curbside or limited delivery. New Day Nutrition in the Weddington Plaza Pikeville. Call 637-2120 or follow us on Facebook. Anthony Craig Davis, attorney at law, has been proudly serving clients for over 30 years in personal injury as well as general practice. Located inside the Betsy Lane Complex directly off of US 23. Call Anthony Craig Davis today at 478-1002 to handle your legal needs. 
Appalachian Wireless is not slowing down in the new year. In fact, this deal went so well, it's still going on. An iPhone 13, 128 gig for a penny. With a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan. New or renewed line. This is literally while supplies last. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig. Terms and conditions do apply. See Appalachian Wireless for complete details. A new year, a new you, and a new device. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. At the Expo Center, about three minutes to go till the tip of the first quarterfinal match, Pikeville and Belfry. Tonight it'll be Prestonsburg and Paintsville. That ought to be a, a pretty good game. Uh, yes. Prestonburg playing some good basketball right now. Yeah, coming off a big district win yes. at home against Floyd Central. Yeah. What time? We got a little time uh, waiting for the uh, teams to come back out on the floor and get the starting lineup. We'll go over our sponsors. Yeah, thank all these fine sponsors for letting us be here live. Appalachian Wireless, Gearheart Security, Jennifer Burke Elliott, Attorney at Law, Gearheart Fiber, Extreme Power Sports, Intermountain Cable, Attorney John Earl Hunt, City Tire, New Day Nutrition, Gearheart Digital, Anthony Craig Davis, Attorney at Law. We appreciate all those fine sponsors. And Justin, if you look at the uh, RPI standings, the teams coming into this tournament. Pikeville is ranked number two in the region behind Lawrence County uh, with a uh, 612 RPI. Then you got Prestonsburg is in this tournament. They're ranked number four at 555. And let's see, Paintsville is number six. This is a regional uh, standings uh, with all the teams, not just the OA at uh, 54.8. Then you got Martin County at seven. You got uh, Betsy Lane at number nine. Of course, Phelps has already been out of Belfry number 14. Uh, and uh, East Ridge, uh, I said Phelps beat out. They play press for, uh, Betsy Lane tomorrow night. East Ridge one that got yeah. beat. Uh, they got beat by Martin County. They was number 15. So uh, you got the number one. Uh, as far as the standings in this tournament, you got the number one. The uh, number two and the number three team all here in this bracket, and that would be Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville. Yeah, that um, <clears throat> it's always been that way. You know, the All A here is almost like a mini regional tournament, really. Yes. Um, you know, you've got those. I mean, I would say if you date back to 2000 there's probably not been outside of Johnson Central probably not been very many schools that don't play in this all eight it's won the regional turn well Johnson Central and, and Lawrence County yes Lawrence them, County, them would yeah. be the two that yes. uh, that's uh, left out that have uh, have made it to run right. here in the last you know say 20 plus years once again fans welcome to the Appalachian Wireless Arena for the opening game of the 2024 boys 15th region all eight classic let's meet our starting lineups First, for the Pikeville Panthers. Starting at guard, a senior, number two, Eli Johnson. At forward, a senior, number 13, Carter Early. At guard, a senior, number 22, Heath Gerald. At guard, a senior, number 25, Josh Hughes. And at center, a senior, number 30, Charlie Fitzer, the Panthers. Pikeville is led by head coach Elisha Justice. And now the Belfry Pirates. Starting at guard, a freshman, number zero, Carter Jude. At guard, a senior, number one, Eric Daniels. At guard, a freshman, number 10, Bryce Hagee. At guard, a freshman, number 33, Eric Rash. And at forward, a sophomore, number 44, David Hagee. The Pirates. Belfry is led by head coach, Michael Hagee. And that's starting lineups for the night's first quarterfinal 
game of the boys 15th region IOA tournament. Pikeville and Belfry and Belfry, a uh, young team, uh, Justin, uh, uh, yeah. starting, I think, is three freshmen. Yeah, that's what I, I was thinking. You know, Pikeville, on the other hand, a little bit more veteran team. And here's the ball in the air, and Pikeville controls the tilt. Belfry falls back in a 1 2 2 zone. Pikeville averaging six three pointers a game. They immediately go down to Fitzer, and he got too far under the bucket and missed the shot. You can see, I mean, obviously a great strategy where, where you want to put, put the ball. Right. Michael Hagee had the rebound for Belfry. Oh, had Hagee too, right on the block. And here's Eric Daniels looking for some help, throws it away. Stolen away by Hurley for Pikeville. Johnson with it. Gerald, three, no good. And Eric Daniels out with the rebound for Belfry. Gets it into the front court. That's Carter Jude with it. Jude, a freshman. Goes over to Michael Hagee. And try to go down low, and it's stolen. Hughes with it. And it off to Gerald, puts it up and in, and Pikeville breaks on top 2 nothing. Nice break that time. Yes. Two possessions for Belfry, two turnovers. Not got a shot up yet. And here's the third turnover as Hughes just reaches in, takes it away from Daniels, and then Daniels fouls Hughes. Yeah, Hughes there alone on the island, too. I mean, not, not trying to trap or anything. Yeah, he just reached in and took yeah. it. Got a boy down on Kentucky's team that's pretty good at yes, that. Yes, yes. Pikeville working in the front court. Hurley with it. Gives it over to Hughes. And tipped out of bounds by Eric Rash of Belfry. Had to stay with Pikeville. Pikeville brings it in. Gets in the back court. Comes in to Gerald. Belfry still in that. It's a two. Uh, one two two zone, but that point man will drop back, and there's Hurley knocking down the three pointer for Pikeville, and it's five nothing Pikeville. Belfry needs to get a shot up here. They've got three possessions, three straight turnovers, and makes it uh, that's five straight turnovers, counting the one in the back and on the break. That's Carter Hurley putting it up and in. He's on a 5 0 run. Pikeville out 7 0. Carter Jude works down in the corner on the baseline, gets it back over to Hagee. He's looking for some help. Pikeville in a man to man defense. And a lot of pressure. Uh, Belfry just having uh, problems just getting into their offense and throw it away again. That's Hurley with it, gets it over to Fitzer. And after he kindly set his feet, seen what to do with it. He puts it on the floor and he's going to get an and one. He can look surprised that they throw yes. it to him to start with and then he's like, well, I can take this to the bucket. Oh, okay. Number one, yes. Nine I didn't say number one. Yeah. 9-0 run for Pikeville. No and shot Fitcher attempts. Can make it... Uh, 10 nothing and yes, Belfry still has not got a shot up. 5.22 left first quarter. Now they're picking up full court pressure. And they get it down low. Here's a shot up and good. Eric Rash. The way they're one for one from the field. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, they've not hit the rim all night. And here's a steal by Belfry as that was that was Johnson number two losing the uh, basketball. Belfry working and ball knocked out of bounds by Pikeville. That's Johnson tipping it out. Here to stay with Belfry. 250 or excuse me 452 left. Jude with it. And Hughes tips it away from him. And 
more or less, he just uh, guided Jude uh, out of bounds. Straight, yeah, led him to the sideline, got that extra defender over there. Another turnover got for Belfry. Got him with six already. Here's Good fight job. working in front court. Johnson fakes the three, puts it on the floor, and kicks it back out. Three up, no good for Hughes. Fitcher rebound puts it in. And you know, you, you can uh, feel uh, free to shoot that uh, three pointer out there where you got the big man inside. Uh, he's going to yeah, clean up the middle. For sure. For it, it lets you do a lot of stuff, too. I mean, like this pressure defense out front by Pikeville, you're allowed to get up and, you know, take a chance on somebody blowing by you when you got a guy that's going to knock it down their throat when they get to the goal. So, right. I mean, it, it opens up a lot of possibilities. Hughes was called for the foul, and he bat tips it, goes right between the old wicket. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fitzer out of bounds. It'll stay with Belfry. And here's the pass comes in. Belfry runs it down over in the corner. That's Daniels with it. He's got a baseline shot up, no good. Fitcher cleans the rebound. Gets it out in front. That was Hurley with it. Now they work it down to Fitcher. Hughes top of the circle. Hurley into Fitcher. And reverse layup, puts it up and in. 14-2. If you're watching on Facebook, like and share, and you'll become eligible to win four tickets to the Harlem Globetrotters right here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Charlie Fitzer with the big block. Of Gearheart Fiber. Block on one end, and on the other end, that's Ox uh, in the game, and he puts it up and in. And it's 16-2, and we've got a media timeout. 3-11 left here, first quarter, this Intermountain Sports Network. For nearly 25 years, Jeff Coleman and the crew at City Tire have been serving the tire and repair needs of Pike and surrounding counties. City Tire carries all major brands and has a tire for any vehicle at very competitive prices. Truck accessories, bed liners and covers, custom wheels, and much, much more. Stop by City Tire, 110 Brady Lane, across from the Hatfield-McCoy Lodge on US-23, or call 606-437-3005. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at GearheartSecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Welcome to 2024. So while you're out breaking all those resolutions you made, Appalachian Wireless will help you keep the most important ones, saving money and staying connected. Appalachian Wireless is starting the new year with up to $600 off select devices. And that's with a new or renewed line on an Appalachian Advantage Unlimited plan or mix and match up to $600 off. So stay connected in 2024. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. Belfry back here trying to break the press. Rash gets another shot. He's had the, the two open looks at the yeah. bad, was able to knock one down, couldn't get that one to go. Under three minutes here in the first quarter, Pikeville with a big lead, 16-2. And nice screen that time yeah. to Fitcher. It's and play. Gerald drove the baseline, drew the defense, hand it back over to Fitcher, and he puts it in. Got nine points here in the first quarter. Got half the points, nine of the 18. There's Rash, finally gets it up into the front court to Jude. Eric Rash with it. Just having a tough time getting into their offense and he breaks down the baseline and Fitcher comes off with it, but nice steal, number 12 in the lineup. That's Keaton Deskins for Belfry and they throw it out of bounds. Uh, 
And we've got a timeout, 2-12 left. 18-2, Pikeville. This is Intermountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Make your day a great day with a visit to New Day Nutrition in the Weddington Plaza. We have acai bowls, loaded cheese, protein coffees, protein shakes, and more. Be sure to try our delicious protein muffins. Ask about our do-it-yourself and on-the-go packs for when you can't stop by. Save 20% on your first order using the New Day app. Available on Apple or Android. We offer online and in-person ordering, curbside, or limited delivery. New Day Nutrition in the Weddington Plaza Pikeville. Call 637-2120 or follow us on Facebook. 2-12 to go here in the first quarter. All Pikeville, 18 to two over Belfry. And I don't keep shot attempts, but as far as rebounds, Pikeville's only got three rebounds. Well, they've not missed That's, very many. Yeah. And, and, and Belfry's not shot very many. No, and they've got, uh, I've got Belfry with six turnovers. See your old buddy Kurt Stamper in watching tonight out of Knott County. And again, we'd remind you that if you like and share the live stream, You'll be eligible for four Globe Charter tickets given away later tonight in tonight's first game. But you got to like and share to be eligible for that. The Globe Trotters will be in town next Wednesday night right here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Belfry will have it on their own bucket. Looking to get it in, and finally they'll get it in to the back. Uh, the front court, that's uh, Rash with it. He drives, breaks down the lane, left-handed shot, no good. Battle for the rebound. And Hagee comes out with it. That's Michael Hagee. And then drive down the lane, losing it. Picked up number oh, 12, Keaton yeah. Deskins. And we got a foul. Got a charge. He lowered the shoulder. And they're going to call the charge. That would Bryce be on Hagee. Bryce Hagee. We're under two minutes. Pikeville will have it coming into the front court with it. Number three ends the lineup now for uh, Pikeville. That's Braden Bolden. They'll get to play a lot tonight, looks yeah. like. Got 24 in there, too, there. Gerald. And here is uh, number 10. That's Cole Sloan knocking it down. Got a whole new lineup in there, yeah. except for maybe Jarrell, I think, still in there. Yep, I think you're right. And on the other end, Belfry, it's tipped out of bounds. Johnson in for Jarrell. Cole Sloan, number 24, I think, Cade Belcher in there too, isn't he? Yes. Oh, it's painful. Belfry gets it in. Thinking of the next game. Here's a long three. No good by Jude. Saved in bounds, but Pikeville comes up with it. Here they come into the front court. That's Bolden with it. Free throw line jumper. No good. Rebound comes off Michael Hagee for the Pirates. Gets it over to Carter Jude. Good move. Drives to the bucket and misses the layup. They got to have those. Yeah. Gets his own rebound. Gets it out to Rash. He's double team. Back down to Jude. And Michael Hagee misses shot off the glass. Rebound comes off to Pikeville's Cade Belcher. Into the corner it'll go. That's Johnson. In, and he knocks it down from the free throw line. It's his first field goal. They've got one, two, three. We've got six people in the scoring column already, Pikeful. 23 to two. 15 seconds left. Belfry gets it into the front court. That's Rash with it. Double team, pass tip. Pikeville steals it. Belcher 
Gives it over to Sloan in the lane. Shot up no good. And they're going to be a foul called, though. He's going to have two free throws with no time on the clock. Cole Sloan knocked a, was that a three-pointer that yes. he made earlier? Yeah. That's his fourth point. He's not played two minutes. And he's going to have another one. And yeah, makes them both. So at the end of the first quarter, it's 25-2 Pikeville over Belfry. We'll be right back. This is your Inner Mountain Sports Network. Anthony Craig Davis, attorney at law, has been proudly serving clients for over 30 years in personal injury as well as general practice. Located inside the Betsy Lane Complex, directly off of US 23. Call Anthony Craig Davis today at 478-1002 to handle your legal needs. Grab up your engines and get ready for the ride of your life. Extreme Power Sports is your destination for all things extreme. Our showroom is packed with the latest and greatest in power sports equipment, including ATVs, dirt bikes, side-by-sides, and more. We carry a huge variety of brands such as Honda, Polaris, Kawasaki, Yamaha, and Slingshot. Come on down to Extreme Power Sports in Pikeville or visit us online at ExtremePowerSportsKY.com. Always take it to the extreme with Extreme Power Sports. Weak Wi-Fi? Not okay. Your home's connected devices need more and more Wi-Fi. An easy upgrade to Gearheart Broadband Internet and Plume Wi-Fi makes it all okay. Contact Gearheart Broadband for fast, reliable Internet and Wi-Fi. Be Belfry Basketball. 25-2 start here the second quarter. Larry, that was all Pikeville. All Pikeville from the get-go. All Pikeville. I think they had... Uh, I think it's 10-0 ten, ten before Belfry yeah. scored one. Yeah, Rash got that first and only shot to go in. Jude's got it to start with. Gets a screen from Hagee and loses it, but Michael Hagee picks it up, throws it down low. That's Bryce, Bryce Hagee, and he puts it up and in. Hagee to Hagee. Hagee to Hagee. <laughs> Pikeville's got... Uh, Fitcher back in the lineup. See Johnson, or excuse me, Hughes is in. Pass. Rest of them is a substitute. Number 11 will roll into the game, and that's Hughes out of the corner. That's about as good an offensive possession as you could have. You yes. got the post touch, the kick out, swing it all the way around. And then got the open three. Yeah. And Knocks it down. And was able to knock it down. Yeah. Here's a three on the other end, comes up short. That was Rash. Eric Rash with it. Johnson, rebound, gets it up the court. Wheel roll down the lane, knocked out of bounds. Off of his leg, it's going to go to Belfry. Number three coming in to line up for Belfry. That's Maynard. McCaden Maynard. And here on the other end is a shot up no good by Daniels. Rebound comes to Pikeville. That was Hurley with it. Hughes down on the baseline to Johnson down the lane. The back to Hughes. Same spot. Three. Same result. What a pass. Because Johnson easily could have shot that shot. Yeah, he, he got it open up, shot. but he knew Hughes had just hit one. That's what you like to see if you're Pikeville. And here's a steal by Johnson. On the move, gets that it over to Hughes. This time, three in the air, and you Ooh. can count it. Carter Hurley, and the threes are raining down here in the Appalachian Wireless Arena. That's their fifth three-pointer already third this quarter they've got nine points this quarter all three-pointers and I think they came in averaging what six, six yeah. uh, made three-pointers they've got five already and here's the foul going to be called against Pikeville that was on Johnson yeah making six three-pointers game shooting 39 percent from the three-point line is pretty hot yeah it's right at 40 percent you're right That's wow rash Gives it over to Jude. In the lane, a little eight-foot shot up, no good. Fitcher goes up, claims the rebound. 
knocked away from him, but it's going to go out of bounds. That was uh, McCaden Maynard battling pitcher on the rebound. Maynard 6'4". He's able to get up there, but yeah. uh, pitcher's got him a little bit yeah. on the body weight. Yes, he does. Here's Steele. Jude to the bucket. Up, no good. Rebound Hagee, and he's going to be fouled. Hughes first, and Bryce Hagee will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Like and share, make yourself eligible to win the four Globetrotter tickets. Right here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena, the Harlem Globetrotters Wednesday night of next week. If you like and share this live stream, be eligible to win the drawing later in tonight's first game. Thirty-four six. Got the two free throws. Pikeville working in the front court now. Looking for pitcher and nice play that time. Badesca stepping in front of the pass and intercepting it. Carter Jude with it. Nice break to the baseline. Puts it up and in. Beautiful cut that time, Eric Rash. Brother-in-law Ronnie Kidd watching from down in Lexington, I'm sure. Might be home tonight, though. <laughs> Here's a shot. No good by, was that uh, Hughes? Yeah, uh, Hughes on Fitcher the was there to clean it up with the offensive rebound and the putback. 36-8. Rash working, gets it over now to Carter Jude. Approaching four minutes to go here to first half. And Rash th throws it out of bounds. He was expecting Hagee to step to the corner and he threw it out of bounds on the baseline. A whole new five, but I think they've all been on the floor before. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I've got a list here. Looks like about 10 or 12 yeah. for Pikeville. I think everybody on the bench has been in so far. That's Jarrell with it. Back in the lineup. Cole Sloan, top of the circle. Jarrell, three, counting. Six three-pointers here, first half for Pikeville. And their lead. Expands to 39 to eight, and here's a steal. That's number three, that's Bowden, and he puts it up and in. Braden Bowden. And we've got a timeout on the court. It's gonna be a 30 second timeout. Belfry will call it. Listen up folks, it's time to get Gearheart TV. Watch TV like never before. Go to www.mygtv.com for more info right now. 41 to eight, Pikeville with a big lead and 18 of those points is coming off of three pointers. Yes, yeah, they've hit, they've hit three this quarter. And, and uh, four of them that I know of is uh, come off of uh, yeah, four offensive of rebound. Yes. So, You've got 22 points there on three pointers and uh, just uh, uh, putbacks. Yeah, th 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 it's scary for the rest of the region to see Pikeville play this yeah, well. Get start, get started like yeah. it is. Yes, and I mean, like you said, Belfry's a young team though, and maybe a little intimidated by the uh, the arena and things of that nature. But now. Uh, you can't take anything away from Pikeville. They've been hitting on all cylinders. You're exactly right. Tonight's second game, Prestonsburg and Paintsville will follow this one. There's Rash, and he fires up the three and puts it down. Nice crossover that yes. time. Got the Pikeville defender off his feet. 
Yep. And he killer. raised it up, knocked it down. That's Kill. his second three-pointer, isn't it? Uh, first. first. That's three first three. But he hit that shot over he, there, deep yes. two, right I, in the I same spot. I thought it was a three, but yeah. And throwing it down low. Uh, and there's Ox. And got his second bucket. Nice feet down low yeah. to him. Good set play. 43-11. Rash is going to be open again. Oh, good switch. Here's Rash, and he fires up the contested three. No good. Battle for the rebound. Ansk comes off with it. Puts it on the floor, takes it in to end. Now looking for help. Kicks it back out to Gerald. Into the corner. Back to Gerald. And Belfry's in that man-to-man -man defense. Oh. A nice drive down the lane. That time Cole Sloan, he gets it, and he's going to go to the line for the and one. Belfry's went to that man-to-man, -man, and Pottville just spreading them yeah. out, and uh, you've got uh, five guys on the floor now that can handle the basketball, and they're just uh, taking them to the rack now. Yeah, spread them out. I mean, everybody on the floor is uh, a weapon. And Sloan makes the free throw. We've got a media timeout, 2-11 left, first half. 46 to 11, Pikeville over Belfry this year, in a Mountain Sports Network. Now the big guy's left his cheer, and the wrapping's all undone. We've got great new toys and gear that need more speed to run. From tablets to our morning brew, our bandwidth needs keep growing, but an upgrade to the latest speeds keeps our precious Wi-Fi flowing. With lots of new gadgets around the house, it's time to step up to Gearheart Broadband Faster Internet and Plume Wi-Fi. Start the new year with an internet upgrade. Call or click imctv.com today. Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. Appalachian Wireless is not slowing down in the new year. In fact, this deal went so well, it's still going on. An iPhone 13, 128 gig for a penny. With a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan. New or renewed line. This is literally while supplies last. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig. Terms and conditions do apply. See Appalachian Wireless for complete details. A new year, a new you, and a new device. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. 2-11 to go before the half, 46 to 11. Pikeville still on top. Belfry showing little signs of life, but when you dig yourself a 25-point hole in the first quarter, it's hard to yeah, it's hard to dig that fast. Yeah. Well, and then and then Pikeville's played. I think everybody on the roster right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, you got number they 12. Play, they he was played, checking uh, in. They played 10 so far. And number 12, he's coming in. That's yeah. Mikey Hager. that will make uh, 11 that they played, uh, played so far. Belfry, I have it out of the timeout. Here's Daniels with it. Closely guarded, and they're going to call the foul, and that's going to be on Mikey Hager. I hear the whistle blow. I knew it was either going to be a foul or a five second call. <laughs> yeah. One of the two. Because he couldn't get away from me, man. Here's going to be a foul called. This time it's going to go to Bolden. It's four. The next one will be free throws. Well, the foul's not going to hurt you with the lead they've got. No. And that, that just gives you a chance to be more aggressive on defense, then. And here's a ball knocked loose from Daniels, picked up by Pike Villars. Jarrell with it. Pike Villars swinging it around the three-point line right now. Got some players cutting to the bucket. Open lane, Jarrell, free throw line jumper, good. Forty-eight, eleven. 
And we're going to have a foul. It's going to be number 12. That's Hager. He just got in after the timeout, and he's already picked two <laughs> fouls up. Quickly. He might not uh, <laughs> He might not score, but he's going to get his name in the scorebook. Yeah, right? That's exactly right. Free throw no good by Carter Jude. They all play just so hard on defense. Yes. I mean, just man-to-man -man zone, it doesn't matter. They're just aggressive at all times. And, and when, Belfry's really struggled with when it. When you've got nine or ten players that you can play, you can afford yeah. to do that. Yeah. And especially early in the season, that's just going to bode well for you later on in the year. There's a shot uh, no good by Ansk. But Jarrell with the rebound, free throw line jumper, rolls it in. He's got seven this quarter. Got the last four. And it's 50 to 11. Nice drive on the baseline, up and in by Rash. Where would they be without him? Yeah, that's the truth. He's got nine of the 13. Thirty seconds left here in the quarter. See if Pikeville works for that last shot. I think they will, unless they get something to open like that going to the bucket, and they're going to put it up and in. That's Braden Bowden. They've got 52 up in the quarter, and nice shot that time. Carter Jude knocks one down. We're under 10 seconds. Jarrell with it, drives to the bucket, puts it up and in. And that's going to be it for the first half. 54-15, Pikeville over Belfry. We'll see the back station and be back shortly with some first half stats and halftime comments. It's your In Mountain Sports Network. Dreaming of watching what you want, when you want, where you want? Stop dreaming and start streaming with Gearheart TV. Watch hundreds of choices on your favorite devices with the power of cloud DVR. Start over and replay TV. Personal profiles with parental controls. Free TV on demand. And TV everywhere to watch on mobile devices from anywhere. Gearheart TV makes your streaming dreams come true at great low rates. Get in touch now to sign up. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at GearheartSecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Welcome to 2024. So while you're out breaking all those resolutions you made, Appalachian Wireless will help you keep the most important ones, saving money and staying connected. Appalachian Wireless is starting the new year with up to $600 off select devices. And that's with a new or renewed line on an Appalachian Advantage Unlimited plan or mix and match up to $600 off. So stay connected in 2024. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Make your day a great day with a visit to New Day Nutrition in the Weddington Plaza. We have acai bowls, loaded cheese, protein coffees, protein shakes, and more. Be sure to try our delicious protein muffins. Ask about our do-it-yourself and on-the-go packs for when you can't stop by. Save 20% on your first order using the New Day app. Available on Apple or Android. We offer online and in-person ordering, curbside, or limited delivery. New Day Nutrition in the Weddington Plaza, Pikeville. Call 637-2120 or follow us on Facebook. Anthony Craig Davis, attorney at law, has been proudly serving clients for over 30 years in personal injury as well as general practice. Located inside the Betsy Lane Complex, directly off of US 23. Call Anthony Craig Davis today at 478-1002 to handle your legal needs. 
Grab up your engines and get ready for the ride of your life. Extreme Power Sports is your destination for all things extreme. Our showroom is packed with the latest and greatest in power sports equipment, including ATVs, dirt bikes, side-by-sides, and more. We carry a huge variety of brands such as Honda, Polaris, Kawasaki, Yamaha, and Slingshot. Come on down to Extreme Power Sports in Pikeville or visit us online at ExtremePowerSportsKY.com. Always take it to the extreme with Extreme Power Sports. Weak Wi-Fi? Not okay. Your home's connected devices need more and more Wi-Fi. An easy upgrade to Gearheart Broadband Internet and Plume Wi-Fi makes it all okay. Contact to Gearheart Broadband for fast, reliable Internet and Wi-Fi. Now the big guy's left his cheer and the wrapping's all undone. We've got great new toys and gear that need more speed to run. From tablets to our morning brew, our bandwidth needs keep growing, but an upgrade to the latest speeds keeps our precious Wi-Fi flowing. With lots of new gadgets around the house, it's time to step up to Gearheart Broadband Faster Internet and Plume Wi-Fi. Start the new year with an internet upgrade. Call or click imctv.com today. Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. Appalachian Wireless is not slowing down in the new year. In fact, this deal went so well, it's still going on. An iPhone 13, 128 gig for a penny. With a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan. New or renewed line. This is literally while supplies last. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig. Terms and conditions do apply. See Appalachian Wireless for complete details. A new year, a new you, and a new device. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. For nearly 25 years, Jeff Coleman and the crew at City Tire have been serving the tire and repair needs of Pike and surrounding counties. City Tire carries all major brands and has a tire for any vehicle at very competitive prices. Truck accessories, bed liners and covers, custom wheels and much, much more. Stop by City Tire, 110 Brady Lane, across from the Hatfield-McCoy Lodge on US 23 or call 606-437-3005. Smart Home Security provides you peace of mind by giving you access to your home cameras and connected devices from anywhere with one easy-to-use app. Stop worrying and upgrade to a smart home with GearHeart Security and rest easy knowing you're always covered with 24-7 professional monitoring. Give us a call at 1-800-264-1730 for a free quote and to learn more about our financing options and how to save with our referral program. With GearHeart Security, families matter. Welcome back to the Appalachian Wireless Arena. We're at the half of the night's first quarterfinal game of the boys. OA Classic, 54-15 Pikeville all over Belfry here in the first half, Justin. Yeah, it was all Pikeville from the get-go, from the tip. Um, for Belfry, story of the first half for them, turnovers. They had 12 turnovers in the first half. Uh, they were led in scoring by Eric Grash. He had nine points, two points for Carter Jude, and four for Bryce Hagee. I only had them with six rebounds, but Pikeville probably shot 85% from the field, right. and what they didn't make, Fitzer cleaned up. Yes, <laughs> I mean, yes. So, um, for Pikeville, they were led in scoring by Charlie Fitzer. He had 11 points, two for Eli Johnson, four for Ian Onks, Carter Hurley with eight, 11 for Heath Gerald, Josh Hughes with six, Cole Sloan with eight, and four for Mikey Hager. They were four for four from the free throw line, and Belfry was two for four from the free throw line. I had Pikeville with 14 rebounds and four offensive rebounds, so uh, it's going to be a, a tall task for Belfry here in the second half. They, they did put up 13 points. They only had two in the first quarter, put up 13 in the second quarter, so that's an improvement, but Pikeville scored 25 in the first quarter and improved theirs to 29 in the second quarter. So, um, you know, if Pikeville's going to shoot this high percentage, it's going to be a 
tough night for whoever they're playing. Well, and not only did they play well on the offensive end, they played uh, yeah. the excellent defense yeah. end. Uh, their defense, uh, man to man, uh, uh, the whole first uh, half, and it made no difference if it was a starter or somebody coming yeah. off the bench. It was just smothering defense. Belfry, yeah. uh, they they just they couldn't even get into their offensive flow. You know, uh, it was yeah. more or less one on one play. Just to that, try to get a shot off. They they had a couple nice plays out of uh, timeout or uh, on the end of bound that they got a bucket from. Other than anything that they got from there, uh, besides that, was just uh, a one on one play. Yeah, and you know those uh, of those twelve turnovers, none unforced. I mean they were absolutely just because of pressure defense. Yes. Uh, picking the pocket. I mean just anything you want. Like I said, that Pikeville just. Uh, suffocating defense. Yeah, it was domination on both ends of the floor, offense and defense. So 54 15 at the half, fight be over Belfry. If you send it back to the station, when we return, we'll have the action third quarter. It's in a Mountain Sports Network. Smart Home Security provides you peace of mind by giving you access to your home cameras and connected devices from anywhere with one easy to use app. Stop worrying and upgrade to a smart home with Gearheart Security and rest easy knowing you're always covered with 24-7 professional monitoring. Give us a call at 1-800-264-1730 for a free quote and to learn more about our financing options and how to save with our referral program. With Gearheart Security, families matter. For nearly 25 years, Jeff Coleman and the crew at City Tire have been serving the tire and repair needs of Pike and surrounding counties. City Tire carries all major brands and has a tire for any vehicle at very competitive prices. Truck accessories, bed liners and covers, custom wheels, and much, much more. Stop by City Tire, 110 Brady Lane, across from the Hatfield-McCoy Lodge on US 23, or call 606-437-3005 ready to start the second half here 54 15 pike bull on top and you know uh just we was talking about uh, you know uh belfry having such a tough time in that first half when you're at halftime what what do you you know on the coach's view what, what do you do to your players well I, I i think you throw the score out at zero to zero see what you can do this second half and just challenge them as you know young men do you are, are you going to step up here and are you going to play hard are you going to roll over and you know take another 45 point loss in the second half and uh you know belfry's loaded with talent yes you know uh, it, it all through the young. halls you yes. know and you just got to you know this is one of those moments you try to learn Pikeville has it to start the second half and there's a foul called on belfry I think that's going to be on uh, Michael Hagee, 44. And here's the inbounds pass, and it's Hurley. up and good. That's Hurley, Carter Hurley with it. Fightville scores first. Hurley is a senior. Of course, you can look at most of Fightville's players, you know, they got a lot of seniors playing, you know, they and they're playing against, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. freshmen and sophomores for – uh, Belfry. Here's a steal. Taking it to the other end, putting it up, missing it. That was Belcher, but and it's out of bounds off of Belfry. It's going to stay with Pikeville. I seen the, heard the whistle. I didn't know if it's calling a foul or what. We've got the running clock to start this second half in high school. If you have a 35 point lead after the first half, it's a running clock. Here's Johnson, loses it. Picked up by Rash. Looking for his shot. Good defense by Hughes. And here's Daniels with the tough turnaround down in the lane. Gets it to go. Tough shot. Pikeville working in the front court with it. Long shot, no good. The tap out. That was Belcher. On the other end, Rash with three, no good, out of bounds, and it'll go back to Pikeville. Time's getting short. Yeah, on this, the giveaway, like and share, we've got to run the clock, so yeah, it's going to go, go off fast. Yes, it's going to go really fast. Like and share, become eligible for the giveaway. It's four tickets to the Harlem Globetrotters next week, right here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena at Johnson. 
drives the lane, puts it up and in for Pikeville. Just his second field goal, but he's played well of a defensive, defensive end, game, yes. uh, passing the ball. Here's Hagee with it, and it's going to be fouled on the drive. It'll stay with Belfry. Hughes. Got number 12. Keaton Deskins into the lineup for Belfry. There's a baseline runner up and no good. That's Jude with it. Rebound comes off to Pikeville. Rushing into the front court. There's Hurley. Kicks it into the corner. Hughes open three. Rims out. Put back up and in. Johnson. Hughes had, uh, what, two or three three-pointers in that first half. That one rimmed out on him. Yeah, he had two back-to-back. -back. One from each corner. Yep. Here's Belfry firing up the three. Yeah, that was in and out. That's, yeah, that's pretty Deskins. deep. And Pikeville comes off the rebound. Good pass. That was Hurley. Down in the corner. Ansk, and he tried to throw it down, and I think uh, Belfry's player got a little uh, hand on yeah. that one. Knocked it loose. They come up with the basketball, and then here it's tipped away from Jude. Picked up by Pikeville. On the run to the bucket. Reverse. No good. Rebound comes off to Daniels. Daniels on the move now, and it's knocked loose again from him. And there's Johnson over to Ansk, and he puts it up and in. Looked like a tennis match there for a minute, didn't yes. it? Yes. We got a 30-second timeout, 402 left third quarter, 62-15, excuse me, 17, Pikeville with the lead. Yeah, it's, <clears throat> you know, you've got, what, 12 minutes to go here. You've, <clears throat> you're out, down eight to two this quarter. Right. Um, you know, you, you're getting some, Decent shots at the goal here, but I don't think the uh, the buy-in's been there on the defensive end for Belfry here this third quarter. No. Number 32 in the lineup for Belfry. That's his first appearance. That's Andrew Rhodes. Coach Hagee's still junior. working working hard on the sideline here, coaching his kids because he's going to see a lot of these kids for the you know next couple years over here in. This is one of those ones you don't want them to hang their head and roll over. You want them to fight. Got to keep the fight. You're exactly right. Rash brings it into the front court. He's had a nice game for Yeah, him. he has. He's got nine points. He averages 13 points, so he's almost to his average. And good here's play. a cut to the bucket. Shot no good. That's Deskins. Pikeville rebounds on the move. And try to get it down low. That's number 11, Will Rowe. And here's a little runner down the lane. Shot no good by Bolden. Belfry comes off with it. That was Michael Hagee come up with the loose ball. And on the drive, the step back puts it up and in. Rash. Good move. And quickly on the other end, Pikeville on the run out puts it up and in. That's Cole Sloan. Yeah, Rash, good-looking player. Yeah, he drove his uh, man down, got him down in a defense position, then just stepped back and dropped that little 10-footer in. He's just got, a freshman. Got it now. Working for the shot, can't get loose. Down the lane, uh, shot no good. That's Bryce Hagee, and he draws the foul. He'll go the line for two. Two forty-three left, third quarter. Pikeville with the big lead, sixty-four nineteen. And Hagen Rosie. gets it to row. Carter Jude back in for Belfry as Michael Hagee will get a rest, and Bryce Hagee misses the second one. Rebound came off. That was Belcher with the rebound. Pipeville works in the front court with it. 
In the corner, three in the air, air ball. Rebound comes off Jude. He brings it into the front court. There's Rash. Well, I tell you, he's working hard, isn't he? Yes. Made the uh, cut all the way under the bucket, back out on top, got the ball now, working against two defenders, and throws it away as he's seen Jude break for the goal, and then Jude stop out of bounds. We've got a timeout. It's a media timeout. Two minutes left, third quarter, 64-20, Pikeville over Belfry. It's your Intermountain Sports Network. Welcome to 2024. So while you're out breaking all those resolutions you made, Appalachian Wireless will help you keep the most important ones, saving money and staying connected. Appalachian Wireless is starting the new year with up to $600 off select devices. And that's with a new or renewed line on an Appalachian Advantage Unlimited plan or mix and match up to $600 off. So stay connected in 2024. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Terms and conditions apply. See AppalachianWireless.com for details. Weak Wi-Fi? Not okay. Your home's connected devices need more and more Wi-Fi. An easy upgrade to Gearheart Broadband Internet and Plume Wi-Fi makes it all okay. Contact to Gearheart Broadband for fast, reliable Internet and Wi-Fi. Make your day a great day with a visit to New Day Nutrition in the Weddington Plaza. We have acai bowls, loaded cheese, protein coffees, protein shakes, and more. Be sure to try our delicious protein muffins. Ask about our do-it-yourself and on-the-go packs for when you can't stop by. Save 20% on your first order using the New Day app. Available on Apple or Android. We offer online and in-person ordering, curbside, or limited delivery. New Day Nutrition in the Weddington Plaza Pikeville. Call 637-2120 or follow us on Facebook. Anthony Craig Davis, attorney at law, has been proudly serving clients for over 30 years in personal injury as well as general practice. Located inside the Betsy Lane Complex, directly off of US 23. Call Anthony Craig Davis today at 478-1002 to handle your legal needs. Two minutes left, 64 to 20, Pikeville on top. Looks like it's gonna be Pikeville ball here. Belfry in a little full court pressure work on some stuff. Well, this is time to do that. Oh, yeah. yeah you're playing with house money at this I point. I mean, you're just, uh, as we always say, this here's the preseason. Then you got the tournaments. Uh, you got the real season starts when the district tournament starts. Yes. It's a good experience for Pikeville, too, to get some of these kids ready. And there's a shot out of the corner. No good wheel roll. Rebound comes off the Belfry. That's Rash with it. He's going to take it to the bucket, puts it up and in. Nice left hand. And here's a steal. That's Jude, and he throws it up. No good. Good hands. Rebound taken away as that was uh, Deskin's rebound, but Pikeville's Bolden just steps in, rakes it out of there, comes up with the steal. Now they work in front court. Just working around the three-point line. Here's a drive to the bucket, but Sloan reverse puts it up and in. Cole Sloan. He's just a freshman. He's got uh, uh, it 12 makes, points. Yeah, that's going to say. I put him double figures, but he already had double figures. Played a good game. Number 32, Rhodes for Belfry. Fires up the three. No good. Rebound comes out and shot no good that time by Bryce Hagee and Pikeville battles comes off with the rebound. That's Cade Belcher with it. Belcher again with it. Gives it over into the corner. Drive down the lane. Breaks free. Puts it up and in. Row. Wheel row. Wheel row. It's his first two. Couldn't see the number there for me. Them black numbers on that maroon's tough to see sometimes. Yeah. That's the eighth player for Pikeville to score. Here's Deskins with it. Give it over to Jude. Nice uh, move that time by Jude to the baseline. Puts it up and in. Carter Jude. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. 68-24. Pikeville over Belfry. We'll be back for fourth quarter action this year. You're in the Mountain Sports Network. 
Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. Not enough power? It's not okay. Weak Wi-Fi? Also not okay. These days, your home's got Wi-Fi connected gadgets and devices here, there, everywhere. And they all use more and more Wi-Fi. Until... Luckily, an easy upgrade to Gearheart Broadband Internet and Plume Pole Home Wi-Fi makes it all okay. Contact Gearheart Broadband today for fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi. 68 to 24, Pikeville on top heading into the fourth quarter. Well, Pikeville came in uh, to the night's game averaging 62 points a game. They got 68 up at the end of three, and Belfry come in averaging 59 points a game and only got 24 up. So you can yeah. look at that and tell what kind of defense that uh, Pikeville's been playing here so far. Yeah, Pikeville outscored Belfry 14 to nine that quarter, so. Not so bad. No. And here's a steal right off the bat. First thing out of the gate, fourth quarter, another turnover for Belfry. Here's Rowe, kicks it over on the baseline to Cole Sloan, and he loses it out of bounds. It'll go to Belfry. Carter Jude brings it into the front court. Double screen top to circle. Kicks it back over to Rash. He's liable to fire. Yeah, he wanted, I think he thought about it. <laughs> Here's a drive, Daniels, down in the lane, turn around, shot, no good. Bowden off the rebound for Pikeville. Baseline jumper, no good. That was Mikey Hager. Belfry on the other end, Rash, cut off on the drive to the baseline. Jude drives the lane, and he's going to be fouled. That's going to go against Bowden. And Carter Jude will be at the line for two. Got the old son-in-law, Mason Scott, looking in. Just getting in from a hard day's work. Those days are getting a little bit longer. A little bit. The sunlight staying out a little bit longer. They just ain't getting uh, that much more warmer. No, no. <laughs> Next week, it's supposed to be real cold. Yeah, today was pretty nice. Tomorrow's supposed to be a little better than today as far as temperature-wise, but get some rain. Pikeville working in the front court with it. Cole Sloan. Here's a nice drive Move. down the lane. Shot up, no good. Blocked. That was Cade Belcher. Belcher comes off with it. Rash. Fires the three. Good. Good looking player. Yeah, good quick shot right there. Good move. A little crossover dribble. Got the defender on his heels and just puts a three pointer in. Here's a steal. That's Eric Daniels with it. And he finger rolls it up in and in. Good finish. Good steal. Good finish. This is what you like to see if you're Coach Hagee, too. You're not giving up, you're playing hard. 68-31, under six minutes to go here in the ball game. Got another one coming up following this one, Paintsville, Prestonsburg. That ought to be a good one. Here's Pikeville working. And down low, shot blocked out of bounds. That was Will Rowe with the shot. Bryce Hagee knocks it out of bounds. It's going to stay with Pikeville. And here's the pass comes in. Three in the air. Count it. Cole, Cole Sloan. Sloan. That's He's had his a big second game. one, isn't it? Uh, yes, he hit one in the first half. He has got, he's got 15 points. 
Time is running out if you've not already liked and shared this live stream and get yourselves eligible for four Harlem Globetrotter tickets be given away before this game ends as Rash fires the three no good. Globetrotters will be right here in the Appalachian Wireless Arena next Wednesday night. So get the four tickets. Come and see them. See them play. As foul on pipe bills, it's going to stay with Belfry. Jew gets it inside. Oh, uh, Bryce Hagen, he lost it on the way up. And Pikeville comes out with it. Cole Sloan, he takes Ooh, it down. Your wow. old self puts up an end. Good move. Just a freshman. Yeah, I, I mean, between him and Rash, there are going to be some Pike County battles. And here's a three, no good. And Bryce Hagee with the rebound puts it up. He's going to get the hand one. Again, this is what you want to see. Coach Hagee there. Playing hard, not giving up. 73-33. And Hagee can't get the free throw to fall. Rebound comes off to Belcher of Pikeville. Panthers works it into the front court. Drive down the lane, shot no good by Bolden. Rebound comes off. Long three, in and out. Rebound, Bryce Hagee, and it was taken away on the floor, picked up by Pikeville. On the run, Will Rose stops, fires the three. No. Rebound comes off. That's Bryce Hagee's going to give it up, and nice block that nice. time by Kate Belcher as he was Rash deep. was going up for the shot. We've got a media timeout. 308 left. It's 7333. All Pikeville, this Inner Mountain Sports Network. For nearly 25 years, Jeff Coleman and the crew at City Tire have been serving the tire and repair needs of Pike and surrounding counties. City Tire carries all major brands and has a tire for any vehicle at very competitive prices. Truck accessories, bed liners and covers, custom wheels, and much, much more. Stop by City Tire, 110 Brady Lane, across from the Hatfield-McCoy Lodge on US-23, or call 606-437-3005. Wrap up your engines and get ready for the ride of your life. Extreme Power Sports is your destination for all things extreme. Our showroom is packed with the latest and greatest in power sports equipment, including ATVs, dirt bikes, side-by-sides, and more. We carry a huge variety of brands, such as Honda, Polaris, Kawasaki, Yamaha, and slingshot. Come on down to Extreme Power Sports in Pikeville or visit us online at extremepowersportsky.com. Always take it to the extreme with Extreme Power Sports. Appalachian Wireless is not slowing down in the new year. In fact, this deal went so well, it's still going on. An iPhone 13, 128 gig for a penny with a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan, new or renewed line. This is literally while supplies last. One penny for an iPhone 13, 128 gig. Terms and conditions do apply. See Appalachian Wireless for complete details. A new year, a new you, and a new device. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Last time out of the game, 73 to 33. Pike Bull still on top, 308 to go. Belfry come up with a little life, a uh, little yeah. energy here in this fourth quarter. Yes. They about scored Pike Bull by four this quarter. Only down one on the half. And that, uh, you know, that's something to build on. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's all you can ask for. Here's a pass knocked out of bounds by Pikeville. It's going to stay with Belfry. Three minutes to go here in the game. Comes into Rash. Had a big game. Got 16 points, and yeah. there's a shot no good. Rebound comes off to Pikeville. Cole Sloan with it. And he gave it up over to Bowden, and Bowden throws it out of bounds as Hager was cutting to the bucket and uh, didn't expect that. A little miscommunication. Sails out of bounds. Belfry will have it. 
Working around the three-point line. There's a rash. He's always looking for a screen or a drive. He can create his own yes, shot. Yes, absolutely can. And here's Jude down the lane. Kicks it back out to Rash. Fires the three. No. Battle for the rebound. Nice rebound by Belcher. Into the front court comes Fightville with it in the lane. A little jump shot in the lane. No good but Sloan. Rash with it for Belfry to the bucket. Puts it up. No good. Fightville with it again. Down low, wide open, puts it up and in. Mikey Hagee. 75-33. Long three by, that's number 32, Rhodes. No good for Belfry. Pipe go in the front court. That's good hands that time yes. by Belcher. Row a little long. Yes. Will Rose shot long. Belfry has it. We're at one minute to go here in the ball game. And an interception by Cade Belcher. And he's going to take it down the lane and sidestep Jude and lays it in. His first two. Forty-five seconds left. Jude, three, top of the circle, no good. And Bryce Hagee puts it back up and in. He's had a decent second half here. Got five points. And that's probably going to be all the score, and I'd say, <clears throat> excuse me, five will just run the clock out. As they stand and hold it, it's going to be a 77-35 win for Pikeville. And they will move on to the semifinals. They will meet the winner of tonight's second game, Pikesville Prestonsburg. As that's the horn, we'll send it back to the station. Be back shortly with some final stats and comments. This is your Red Mountain Sports Network. Gearheart Security is here to give you some peace of mind with our smart home security system. With 24-7 monitoring and access to your home cameras and other smart devices for our customers. Find out more about our smart home security solutions at gearheartsecurity.com or give us a call for a custom quote at 1-800-264-1730. We also have financing options available. Families matter with Gearheart Security. Anthony Craig Davis, attorney at law, has been proudly serving clients for over 30 years in personal injury as well as general practice. Located inside the Betsy Lane Complex, directly off of US 23. Call Anthony Craig Davis today at 478-1002 to handle your legal needs. Weak Wi-Fi? Not okay. Your home's connected devices need more and more Wi-Fi. An easy upgrade to Gearheart Broadband Internet and Plume Wi-Fi makes it all okay. Contact Gearheart Broadband for fast, reliable Internet and Wi-Fi. And we're back here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Uh, final in the night's first game, 77-35 Pikeville over Belfry, and they will advance to the semifinal game. That will be Monday night, 6 o'clock. And Justin has the final numbers. For Belfry, they were led in scoring by Eric Rash. He had 16 points, nine points for Bryce Hagee, six points for Carter Jude, and four for Eric Daniels. They were five for eight from the free throw line. And basically the story of the game, 17 turnovers. Yes. Um, I had them with 21 rebounds, uh, six of those offensive rebounds. A lot of that coming there at the end of the game. So right. hard to... The stats don't really jive with what uh, what was happening for Pikeville. Um, just I think everybody that got in the game scored a point. Uh, they were led in scoring by Cole Sloan with 17, Charlie Fitzer with 11, Eli Johnson and Ian Ox with six, 10 for Carter Hurley, 11 for Heath Jarrell, six for Josh Hughes, two points apiece for Kate Belcher, Will Rowe, and Mikey Hager and Braden Bolden with four points. They were four for four from the free throw line, and I had them with 28 rebounds and I think six or seven offensive rebounds. So 
uh, and total know, domination. Yeah, Fitzer never even played the second half. No, he didn't. He didn't score. Yeah, a lot so, of. So uh, you know what a luxury you have, you yeah. know, with the big lead and two more games uh, possibly to play in the tournament. Yeah. And uh, you get to rest your big man, you know, that just uh, bodes well for later on. So that's going to wrap it up for us here tonight on the first game as Pikeville 77-35 over Belfry. And we'll return shortly for tonight's second game, and that will determine who Pikeville will be playing in the semifinal. It's Paintsville, Prestonsburg. So stay tuned. And before we go off, we got a winner, Brady Little. Brady Little, you are the winner of the four tickets for the Harlem Globetrotters here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena next Wednesday night. So congratulations to Brady Little. We'll send it back to the station. Be back shortly for tonight's second game. This is the boys' 15th region on the Intermountain Sports Network.